today's recording is going to revolve around how to create a business card inside of Microsoft Office Publisher. To get started, you're going to click Start and type in, in this area, Publisher. You'll notice that as you type, Publisher should show up in this area, and I'm using 2010. 2007 is very similar. Once this opens up, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my screen is maximized. If I look over to the left, I'll notice that automatically it's set up to create a new, new type of template of some sort in Publisher. The easiest way to create a business card could be to just click Business Cards. And what would happen is instantly you'd see different categories for what you can do to create various business cards. These templates are from Office.com. You can also go down and click Install Templates. If you desired, you could have also just typed in business and hit click the search magnifying glass and it would have come back and it would have told you, you know, what was available. Based on what we have, I'm going to take a look at the bottom for install templates. What you would typically do is you would scroll through until you see a card that you like. And of course, you're not going to be able to see the full blown up version. But in this case, what I'm going to select is this one that's called Floating Oval. So I click it one time. Once I do, if I look over to the right side, I can clearly see it's called Floating Oval, which aligns with this particular template name here. Over to the right, it gives me a miniature thumbnail version of what the color is going to look like, but I can modify it. So if I take a look at Customize, here I can see this is the color scheme, and right now it's set to pair it. If I click the drop-down arrow, I can now see a range of different colors that I can select. What makes this very nice is as you click those colors, it also changes the color not only in the thumbnail, but also in the templates that are on the left to just give you an idea of what's possible. And if I click on another one, maybe you decide that you'd like to use a different color, then you also have the opportunity to do that. In this case, I'm going to decide to select this particular card because I happen to like the color and the design. And when I click it, I see that information is presented here in this section. Now that I'm done with the color scheme, I can move down to what's called font scheme. The font scheme is similar to the color scheme. If you click the drop down, again, you can see that there are a range of different fonts that you can select. And even though you can't see all of the detail, it does give you an idea of what the font will look like once it's placed on your particular card. You don't have to worry about being stuck with something because you can change it after you create it. At this point, I'm going to keep what I have for the font scheme. As I look down, there is another section that's called business information. Now, in this example, I've already created and populated fields for business information. However, yours, when you click the drop down, probably says create new. To create a new business information profile, click create new. When this opens, you'll see the create new business information set dialog box. All I did in this particular area was field in my name, my position, the name of the organization. If you don't have an organization, that's fine. You don't have to have one. In addition, if there are fields that you don't want, for instance, yours will also have fax underneath phone. Just highlight it and hit the delete key twice and it'll take that information out. I'm putting mine back in because I do want it. And in addition, you can give yourself a tagline to personally brand yourself or use some type of motto which describes who you are as an individual and what you bring to the table. The second piece is using a logo. Now, typically in the past, people used images in order to convey their logo. Today, this is more modernized, we can use a QR code so that people can scan that particular card electronically or on hard copy and they can see information about you or they can go to wherever it is that you desire for them to go or see whatever it is that you intend for them to uh, view as it relates to you. Now, in order to modify that, what you would do is click change and you would just navigate to wherever your QR code is or your image is. If your image is going to be sample pictures, then double click it, find the image you want and double click it and you'll see it changes to that. I obviously don't want that, so I'm going to remove it in a second. And the second piece is 
once you've made all your modifications, you've plugged in your information, all you do is look in the section that's called Business Information Set Name, and you're going to name it what you would like to call it. So if I wanted to create a different name for this, I could say Letitia, Alford, and then I would type in Koala Card. And of course, I would save it. I'm going to hit Cancel because I already have one created and I actually like it, so I'm going to stick with it. The next thing is to take a look at your options. Now your options being visible will be dependent on what type of template you choose. For instance, if I choose monogram, I may not have the same options that I would with mobile. So do keep that in mind, but I do want the landscape position, and all that means is this card is going to be shown horizontally as opposed to up and down, which would be portrait mode for vertical. But if I want it to be a portrait card, I just click that and it instantly changes. If I want it to go back to normal, to mobile, then I click the drop down and select ma landscape and there we have it, it easily goes back. Once you're done, click create so that you can see what it is that you've created. At this point on the screen, if there are other modifications you'd like to make because you think something's missing or you want to have a little bit more, then of course hit enter after you click where you want and type in the information you desire to have. Obviously I don't want to make any modifications so I'm going to remove it. And the last thing is to save it. I'm going to click File, Save As, and obviously you created this in Publisher. But if you want to have these cards printed out at a Kinko's or a Best Buy, you want to prob not a, I'm sorry, Kinko's or um, an office supply store, you want to make sure that you save it in a format that is accessible to them. So JPEG would be user friendly, so I'm going to click the, the particular arrow beside Save As Type. And you'll notice that we do have a JPEG picture image that we can click. And I'm going to save it in Dropbox. And I'm going to call it um, Brown Letitia Alford Business Card so that I can find it later. And I'm going to click Save. And that saves it in that format. You can go back and save it as a PDF as well. File, Save As. And for Save As Type, again, click the drop down. And at this point, you'll notice that you can save it as a PDF file. You have a host of choices. One thing that I do want to say is that if you decide to save this as a picture file, you can use this business card to post on any electronic document. You can put in your email signature. You can post it on your website. You can do whatever you desire with it. That concludes our session for how to create a business card inside of Microsoft Office Publisher.